All right, so we're out here exploring this abandoned hospital. March 21st, coronavirus is hitting right now. Look, toilet paper. Think we should grab it? What do you think? We probably should. Welcome back to the channel, Explorers. Today's adventure, we find ourselves at the Brandywine Sanatorium, an abandoned tuberculosis hospital in the countryside. I can't believe it's still here that we can get inside. Let's check it out and see what we find. The once prestigious hospital now sits abandoned. Closed five years ago in 2015, the hospital was plagued with plumbing problems. The 143 staff members and 48 patients were redispersed throughout the state. After the plumbing was repaired, the patients decided they didn't want to come back here, leaving the fate unsure. Since then, it's been sitting boarded up, abandoned, decaying. Let's check this out. What do we got here? Hmm? Anybody home? Check out this rear loading dock. It's locked up tight. Let's hit this buzzer. Can you let us in? Use my access card. Deet, deet. place is pretty beat up. Look at it. Wow, look at this. This is interesting. This was part of a, a hospital complex. The cancer mortality rates from 1950 to 79. Look, Larnacle Cancer in Virginia to 1996. Well, wow, it's always amazing the stuff that's left. Look, patient records there. I'm not going to get too close. Wow. Check it out. Look at this keyboard. Olympia. St 
star type. Keys still feel good. The proper people, they'd be proud. I peek out one of these windows and what do I see but a Delaware State Police Trooper out there parked in the parking lot. Let's check out the rest of this building. All the check-in's good. Some kind of little conference room. stuff. Look at all these buttons. A room for these things. While we were up on the rooftop, we heard some commotion. We heard dogs barking. We looked outside. What do we see out front? State police car with a canine unit. Got a couple of cars. Kids stopped out there. I think they were ready to explore. They pretended they had some kind of a motor issue with their car and looking under the hood. And uh, pretty soon he escorted them off the property. Hey man, we're in the building. Check it out. Huh? Right now somebody's outside in a Mustang checking out the one of the little houses next door. And the cops were just here and they caught some kids. But they didn't catch us. Because we're slick. This place is kind of beat up, but we're checking it out. Power is still on in here. Fed from the generator. The hospital, while now vacant, operated for 105 years on this site. Its last thing that it got done, the bathrooms were rehabbed. All the plumbing was replaced and the hot water system was straightened out. That's why the only thing left in here, basically, toilets and bathroom fixtures. No hospital beds, no gurneys, no wheelchairs, no medical equipment. All right, so we're out here exploring this abandoned hospital. 
It's like March 21st, March 21st. Coronavirus is hitting right now. Look, toilet paper. I think we should grab it. What do you think? We probably should. So after investigating the upstairs corridors and hallways, we head down to the main lobby. We check out this beautiful railings and architecture, and then we hear something. Did you hear something? Mm-hmm. What did you hear? Could have been a door dripping. Could have been moving around. And there's cameras everywhere still. Hey guys, it's Andy. Thanks for coming along today. If you guys like this video and you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, and definitely turn on the notification bell so you can see more videos just like this one. Thanks for coming along.